Hi Stampers! Today I have this darling trick-or-treat bag. It measures four wide, five and a half high, and an inch deep. So I will be using the cauldron bubble bundle. And I will let you know that's the only way you will get the spider web. And if you purchase this as a bundle, you will save 10%. I'll also be using the layering square framelits. And this is for our front part that we'll be decorating. The designer series paper comes from Toil and Trouble. And as you can see, there's stripes, there's polka dots, black cats on pumpkin pie. Pumpkins, there's witches, witches hats, ghosts. It's very, very cute. The framelits will cut out the witches hat, the cat, the frog. You'll have to we'll have to freehand cut the pumpkin. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, you'll need a piece of designer series paper that measures 6 by 12. So we're using the black with the orange dots, the crushed curry, stars, and on the other side is bats. So on your stamp and trimmer, the light gray is for scoring and the dark gray is for cutting. So we're going to measure 1 inch, which I'll be doing it on the left hand side. And this is on the six inch side. You're going to turn it, line it up at one inch again, and score. And on the 12 inch side, we're going to go five and a half, score, turn it, and five and a half again. Okay, that's all for scoring. So we'll go ahead and fold and crease all of our score lines. Then lining up the top with the everyday label punch. We're going to center it in between the score lines and come down probably three-fourths of an inch. And punch. The only thing we will be cutting is these two little squares you're going to cut into the first score line. Then we're going to be slightly mitering those. Turn it into the other side. Now with the liquid adhesive, we're going to put some on each one of these flaps. And then we will be lining them up with the back. Holding them for a little bit until the glue adheres. And repeat on the other side. We 
we will be applying liquid adhesive. You can also use tear and tape. I wouldn't suggest anything other than these two, being this is a box. Because you want it to stay. Okay, and then lining it up with the back, making sure the top lines up and the bottom. Press that down, and we'll now do our other side, making sure the top and the bottom line up. And then with your bone folder, go ahead and press down on both these sides. Okay, so the, the edge of this flap is now your back. So we're going to let that dry and do our front. So as I said, I used the largest scallop from the layering square framelits and the largest solid one. So we're going to do some stamping. I like stamping on a scrap piece of paper to protect my surface. So first off with the black memento, we're going to be stamping our trick or treat. Okay, that looks good. Now, with Daffodil Delight, we're going to stamp the stars. And what we're going to be using is the Trick or Treat, the Cat, the Frog. I just love the Cat and the Frog. We'll be using the Trick or Treat in these stars up here. And the stars we're just going to randomly stamp. Not stamping over the trick or treat. Next we're going to go ahead and freehand cut the pumpkin and using the Stampin' Up snip, snippers you're going to want to leave just a little white edge and don't really move your scissors just move the paper So this is the largest pumpkin on that page. I believe there's four different size ones. It's just a very cute designer series paper for Halloween. Ok, 
And with our liquid adhesive, we'll be applying this. And you can see on the other side, it's just brooms. Now we'll go ahead and we'll mount it on our pumpkin pie. And you're not going to have much of a border around the edge. And we will be stamping the cat and the frog. And coloring it in with the Stampin' Blends. In the Stampin' Blends, I'll be using the light old olive and the light slate gray. And on the Stampin' Blends, there's a larger end, kind of resemble a paintbrush, and a smaller end. We'll be using the smaller end because this is a small image. And just go ahead and color them in. And then we'll, dye, we'll use the framelits to cut them out. Just kind of going around this leg joint, making it just a little bit darker. <coughs> Excuse me. And the eyes, I'll be using the light old olive. And I'll also be using light old olive for the frog. The Stampin' Blends are an alcohol-based marker, so they do dry fairly fast, but they're great for blending, too. And again, just kind of go around the leg and the stomach area. But for the magic of the video, I do have them already done. along with some stars that we'll add to this. And a little tip I have that I use quite often. So I'll just take a piece of wax paper in a toothpick. Just add a little dollop of glue. Along with the uh, Stampin' Up! Take Your Pick tool, which is in the holiday catalog. This, this end is a sticky end, so it's great for picking up small objects, you know, sequins, well, these little stars. And then with the toothpick, I'll just add a little bit of glue on the end and put them in position. And I would put five down. You're going to get quite a few. I'm 
That one we won't be able to slide in, but that is where our bats will be going. And that's okay if they gets covered up. So I'll get this star back on here. that right there. Okay, next with the mini dimensionals. And the other side of our take your pick tool. I'm going to put the cat down and the frog. The cat, I would probably try to put two dimensionals on. I'll go ahead and we'll place the cat close to the pumpkin. In the frog you're only going to need a little piece so we're just going to cut off a little end Pop that on the back. We'll pop him right down here at the bottom. The witch's hat. I would only put dimensionals down around the brim. I would probably put three. As you can see on the other side of the witch's hats, the designer paper is all frogs. And we're just going to tilt it. Put it on the top of the pumpkin. Just one moment, I'm going to get some a scrap of Whisper Basic Black. And with the bat punch, we're going to punch it twice. And you can see you have three different bats, but I'm only going to be using the smallest ones today. And again with the mini dimensional. Pop one on the back. Yeah, and 
place our other one right up here. And with four of the regular size, put that on the back of this piece. Maybe I'd put five, one in here in the center. And placing it in the center on your front. Okay, and then before we tie it shut, we're going to take each end, push in, line those up, and pinch them. And now with some Whisper White classic weave ribbon going to run it through our opening from the back to the front adjusting it. We'll try it one more time. Okay, and then just trim off your tails. And here's, your, here's two treat boxes. Aren't they as cute as can be? I mean, any regular size candy bars will fit in here. And until later, thanks for peeking in. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye.